This is Sitam Thika Road, where Christ is the answer. We live in a times where there's a lot happening around us, and each one of us have those moments when anxiety creeps in in your life, when anxiety just come in and you don't know what to do, and you don't know how to deal with the anxious moments that we have. I want to trust and believe that in, the, in today's devotion, we'll be able to find insights on how to deal with those moments when we are anxious. My name is Steve Onguko, a pastor here at Sitam Fika Road, and welcome to our devotions. The book of 1 Peter chapter number 5 and verse 6 to 9 says, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, plows around like a rolling lion looking for someone to devour. Re resist him. Stand firm in faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. Various things that we are going to learn from this portion of scripture and I believe the Lord is going to give us what it takes when we are in the moments of anxiety. The first thing the Bible says is, cast all your anxieties on him because he cares. You know, Peter is not just saying do anything. He's saying, cast your anxieties on him. And the idea of casting your anxieties on the Lord, it's not just walking away. It's not just doing whatever, I mean, it's not just like taking something and throwing. The idea is taking your anxiety, turn to your anxious moments, your worries, and actually taking it to the Lord. Giving the Lord is, is more or less like carrying this jar of water and giving it to the Lord. That's what Peter says. Cast all the anxieties on him. Take all the anxieties in your heart. Don't leave anything in your heart. And pour out into the Lord. Because the Lord cares for you. The Lord is concerned about your life. The Lord is concerned about your well-being. The Lord is concerned about your family. The Lord is concerned about your job. And therefore, he says, when you are anxious, when those moments come in your life, when you are feeling that I'm going to lose this job because of the pandemic, when you are feeling my family things are going haywire because of the financial situation at, uh, around the home, whatever it is, the Lord is saying, cast your cares to him when you're anxious because he cares for you. My brothers and sisters, it is my privileged moment to let you know that the Lord cares for you. Regardless of your situation, regardless of the moments that you are going through, the Lord cares about you and he wants to do something about your situation. That's why he's saying, cast, cast your anxieties on him. But notice what the Bible goes on and says, be alert as you cast, as you cast your cares to the Lord. The Bible says, be alert and of sober mind. The reality of the scripture is, in the moment of anxiety, in the moment of anxiety, we ought to be alert and sober. And why are we alert and sober? The Bible says, your enemy, the devil, plows, plows around like a rolling lion looking for someone to devour. The enemy likes when we are at our weakest point. And when you are in that anxiety moment, when you're anxious about what will happen tomorrow, when you're anxious about your family, that is your weakest moment. And the enemy likes such moments. And, and the Bible says he's going around. He's going around, plodding around and rolling like a lion. You know what? He rolls like a lion. But I want to tell you that Jesus is the lion of Judah. The enemy, the enemy is just like the lion. But Jesus is the lion himself. And so, because he goes on around, you know, Jesus is the lion who is everywhere at any particular moment but the enemy cannot be everywhere at a particular moment the enemy has to go around rolling like a lion and when he finds your heart is dejected when he finds your heart 
is worried. He comes in with all manner of things. He comes in with his he, he is rolling in your in your you know in your life and he deceives you and he comes and you want to steal that joy in your heart. Bible says, be alert and of sober mind because in your anxious moment because all of us go through anxious moment all of us go through those moments when we are feeling things are not are, gonna, are not being right or things are not going to be right perhaps because we're not sure about what the future holds for us and we are so anxious but in that moment of anxiety the bible says be alert and of a sober mind because the enemy is going around and he wants to steal from us the bible's goal that he says Resist him. So the reality is this. The enemy will come at your weakest moment. The reality is this. The enemy is going round, is going round and round to devour you. At that moment when anxiety has set in your life. But God says, but the Bible says, resist him and stand firm in the faith. Because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. Two things, resist and stand firm. He will come around, going around, resist and, and stand firm. The other thing that you need to be encouraged is that there are other believers across the world, across the universe, that are going through certain situations that are causing them to be anxious about their lives. Be encouraged that they are going through. And because they are going through, you are also going through. But stand firm. Stand firm and resist the enemy. As he goes around plowing, resist him. And tell the enemy, even though I'm going through the valley of shadow of death, I will not fear. Even though the situation is difficult, I will not fear. Even, even though things are not looking upright, I, the anxiety in me shall not make me to succumb to the things because I have the Lord because the Lord cares for me because the Lord is concerned about my business the Lord is concerned about my family the Lord is concerned about my ministry the Lord is concerned about every aspect of my life and so I will resist you I will resist you and I will stand firm in the Lord I want to believe and pray that indeed, as we go through the week, as we look ahead, as you reflect back, stand firm. Stand firm and resist the enemy. And have this assurance that the Lord cares for you. The Lord cares for you. And the enemy, as much as going around, he will not be able to destroy it. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And may the Lord sustain you. And may he deliver you from every form and attack of the enemy. God bless you and God keep you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen.